What's going on guys, Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews, and I got some sad news. My Milwaukee backpack has finally failed me. Well, I wouldn't really say fail, it still works, you know, of course, there's not really any major issues with it. It's just that this zipper line has basically come apart or started ripping here. Now, I will say, I did keep this thing, you know, decently full of tools. <laughs> All right, here in this first compartment, this is where I keep all of my hand tools. And if you notice, this thing is relatively clean. I didn't really use this thing um, any like, you know, crazy outdoor, heavy, heavy duty environments. I would put my tools in here. I would go to a client's home, put this set, set this down on a drop cloth and I'd start working from there. So even as you can see, the bottom here has taken very little wear over the nearly year and a half, two years that I've used this backpack now. Um, and it's overall been a great backpack. I really do love the design. Some of the Dwell backpacks that I've had, um, they don't have as much organization as these Milwaukee backpacks do. Um, in the main compartment here, we have a ton of pockets, nice big pocket up here, a zipper pocket down here. Um, but this thing finally came undone. And what's funny is this back zipper pocket here is where I kept um, my power tools doesn't have any issues at all. This actually stayed more, you know, stuffed than this front pocket did, and this one still came undone. Now, I will say I have gone back to using my old pack out. Not really old pack out, but here's my current pack out that I am back to using again. I just love the uh, carrying case here for these. I don't like that it's totally open. I don't want any tools to fall out and damage anything in a client's home. I'm back to using this pack out for my power tools, hold everything in there just fine, but this is back for my hand tools now. So of course that is a failure on this Milwaukee backpack. I'm not sure about the warranty on this. Um, I could call Milwaukee and see what they would say. I'm not really sure what they're gonna say exactly on this. This is not the pack out backpack, by the way, guys. This is just the regular Milwaukee. I think it's the technician's backpack. I only paid about 60 bucks for this thing. It wasn't, I think it was on sale. I got this at the actual, my Milwaukee service center, kind of like, kind of like a service center slash Milwaukee store. They had this thing on sale. Um, I got, you know, a decent amount of life out of it. Um, I'm sure if I wanted to, I could maybe try to sew this back up and maybe use this for much, much more lighter duty use. Um, but it's curious to see exactly what would fail first on this backpack. Um, you know, it holds a lot, a lot of tools, but it's really, how was it gonna hold up? And I was more concerned about this protecting the client's um, home from the tools than it was protecting the outdoor elements from the tools getting damaged themselves, if that makes any sense. Um, but really cool to see this backpack, you know, kind of run its full life here. Of course, you can barely tell this thing has been used. This thing is always kept very, very clean. Um, whenever I'm in a client's house, I need to have very clean tools, very clean storage, just part of what I do for work. Um, but yeah, it failed here, unfortunately. So not really sure what to think about this. Um, let me know in the comments, guys, um, what you would do about this. Is this worth a call to Milwaukee or not? And it's interesting to note where this failure really did occur here. There's nothing sharp involved here. It did just pull apart. Um, I keep my razor blades in here, but of course they're always um, locked in in a way where they can't cut anything. But as I mentioned before, there is tons and tons of pockets, tons of storage. Never really was a big fan of this part of the backpack. I kind of thought something here would rip off or break first, but nothing really happened here. Um, it's not really was ever useful to me. They do have these kind of side little things here to kind of hold in whatever is in here, but never really was that useful to me. Um, I even thought possibly the top handle here might start having some issues. This backpack, I think, weighed upwards of 60 pounds and this top handle is really well on there. No signs of ripping, no signs of coming off in the slightest, which was really interesting. Um, you can tell they used a thicker zipper up here on the top, and this is really where the major stress of this backpack was at, because there was so much stuff packed into this top here, and just some hand tools packed into the bottom here that I'm surprised that we had the issue with this smaller zipper here. But other than that, guys, I do think the Milwaukee backpacks are still phenomenal. If that's the only issue I've had with mine. Um, I have my DeWalt backpack still, and it doesn't see you know as many tools or as many job sites as this Milwaukee backpack does. So guys, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about this Milwaukee backpack failure so far. Um, I might give Milwaukee a call, see what they'll do about it. But thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Stay safe out there. Have a great day.